There is no effective cure or means of stopping dementia. Like many diseases of the brain, it's hard to see, even under an MRI scanner, what's happening in there. But scientists at the Babraham Institute have found that by using brain slices from young mice, they can get a detailed look at the cells of the brain most affected by Alzheimer's. This allows them to make real-time observations of brain models, allowing them to study how it's being affected over the course of several weeks. So this image here is an image of the part of the brain, the hippocampus, responsible for memory. And you see it has a really lovely, pretty structure to it. So all the green cells here, they're nerve cells. So they're what is responsible for causing connections in the brain to allow us to form memories. So all of these cells here are essential for memory formation. So this image here tells us that the brain slices, they survive really well in a dish, so outside of the animal environment, and means that we can actually study these in a system that's really easy to add drugs to and to look very easily at what the Alzheimer's disease is doing. This is what a normal brain looks like under high magnification. And all these little red dots here represent where nerve cells are talking to one another. So that's essential for memory formation. And you see in a normal brain, it's covered with all of these little red dots. But if we look in our Alzheimer's brain, you see that all these red dots disappear. And that means that we're losing these connections between the nerve cells. And one of the key questions in Alzheimer's disease is why are we losing these connections? Why is that causing dementia? And how can we intervene to hopefully develop therapeutics that might help human patients one day? Previous research has shown that a buildup of a protein called amyloid can disrupt the transmission of signals between nerve cells. The team hope the brain slices can show us how the amyloids can be stopped at an early stage in their development. So one thing that's very important to realise is that the best chance of therapy is in the early stages of disease before the, before the irreversible problems begin to happen. And what we can actually show in, in the slice culture system uh, is the very earliest stages of that disease, before the cells have died, but when parts of those cells, the synapses, are already being lost. And then if we can go in and actually stop that from happening, then we can actually tackle the very early stages of disease, which are, are responsible for the earliest symptoms. Claire's research has been funded by Alzheimer's Research UK, who hope that her work can go some way to helping the 850,000 people affected by dementia across the country. So this is a new, a new technique, um, a new method, and like any new technique it will need validating and it will need uh, replicating by different labs and this is how then techniques do get established. Um, the technique is used by other labs and uh, by um, using a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease, what Claire has done is validating it for um, the study of Alzheimer's disease. And the fact that she does see a buildup of amyloid, which is something that we see in other systems, um, validates this method as a potential great method to use uh, in the future. Um, they've also tested uh, some drugs in their system um, and that confirms that is a potential technique that we can use to, to test drugs in the future. Any drugs that could be used to treat Alzheimer's will have to go through several years of clinical trials, but once one is found it could give people fighting the disease many more years to be with their family and friends. Adam Page, Cambridge TV News.